So Peter, you mentioned prostate cancer. I'm, I'm curious, is your focus going to be on some of the larger cancers, or do you plan to go in certain directions? Great question, yeah. yeah. So both the workflow, the platform itself, everything is an engine. We build an engine so we can go to other tumor types now. Many of the so-called prognosis determinants we are looking at, they are the biomarkers we're looking at, that's our trademark name for them, uh, are relevant for other cancer types. And, and uh, one of the next tumor types we are gonna go aggressively into and develop tests for is uh, colorectal cancer. I'm, I'm just curious, are you targeting the top cancers is we that are, where you're going? We are really basing it on clinical unmet need. Um, prostate cancer is an easy one, but has historically been a very, very difficult one. Uh, the competition is out there, genomic health and others, but it's gene <clears throat> genetics-based approaches. And we already now have indications of an, an, a level of accuracy that has not uh, hitherto been possible with genetics-based platforms. Uh, the prognosis determinants we are looking at are bona fide drivers of that aggressive cancer type. That's the way they have been identified from metastatic mouse models generated in the some of the founders' labs. And I think that in itself is a distinguishing feature from other genetic space companies. We have put a lot of effort, many, many years of effort into identifying the relevant aggressiveness markers that we, as I mentioned, uh, call prognosis determinants. They're functional drivers of the aggressive phenotype. Okay, and would, would somebody that was ordering your test, Metamark's test, would they primarily be in the early stages? We, we are seeing low-hanging fruits, if you want, uh, in <clears throat> early stage cancers. And we can, because of the type of platform we've developed that is very, very unique, we can develop tests for indications where it's not possible with your standard platforms. Uh, because it's digitalized, some examples, because it's digitalized, we can look in the most aggressive regions of a tumor based on the biomarkers we're looking at. And we can do that by cutting off for positively correlated markers, the top 5% say, for negatively correlated markers, the bottom 5%. So project those on the tissue regions of interest and only prognosticate from those regions of a tumor. Mm -hmm.